Gardner Coaching. Today we will be discussing tanks and plumbing. My name is Christine Bierman and I am the marketing coordinator for Integra Coach. I'm PJ Clanton and I'm the motorized technical training manager. So PJ, each tank has a sensor in them to determine the level of the contents. What could cause those sensors to be not reading properly? So it really turns out to be a variety of things can happen. Uh, loose wires, anything like that. Our most common issue we have or that we hear on the phones and that we have here in the shop, customers come in and say, I, I know I just emptied my tanks, but it still shows that there's something in the tank. A lot of the times, you know, we have to talk about it and, and look at it this way. It is human waste, it's gray water, it's gonna build up in a tank. Most of the time it's just due to not properly cleaning the tanks out, not getting those flushed out. Um, but when the sensor is not reading correctly, that's the first thing we're gonna go to. Make sure we can flush that tank out really good just to verify that it is. And on occasion, we do have some loose wires and, and those would be evident right from the get-go. We have ways of, of testing for that as well. So I think the biggest thing into making sure they're reading properly is always keep those tanks clean and flushed out. So our customers tend to store their coaches from time to time. What is the best practice when it comes to leaving water in the tanks during their storage? So this is actually different based on what tank you're talking about. Anytime you're gonna put this in storage, it's just gonna sit for a while. We obviously don't want anything in the fresh water tank. It, it's just gonna get stagnant water. You'll start getting that film on top of water. It's just the nature of that being in a tank. So we, we really kind of want to empty that tank out. For the black and the gray tank, we actually want to keep some water in there. We, we recommend right around 7%. And so what that does is it allows it to keep moisture in it to keep things from growing. We may have some you know, leftover solids, whether it's grease or anything from the kitchen sink or dishwashers, food scraps, um, you know, and anything like that can get in there. And if it sits and dries out, it'll actually start to grow inside the tank. So our best thing for those is to keep that water in there. And we would also want to make sure that we put that tank treatment in. That keeps it, you know, it's, it's kind of like your, your good bacteria. It breaks down those, those solids that are in there and keeps them from growing and getting on the sides of the tank. So how often should customers be cleaning their tanks? Generally, we, we talk about that when they empty their tank out, they're going from campground to campground. They, we do have a flush system on there so they can flush out their sewage tank. Their gray tank is just you know having a good flush in it and keeping some water in it. Um, we wanna make sure that they do a really good clean. You know We're sanitizing all those tanks at the beginning and the end of each season. So normal, just cleaning everyday use. You know We're gonna drive from this camp to that campground. Just use the sewage flush. Make sure we're, we're getting as many of those solids out as we can kind of run some extra water down the gray tank and kind of flush that out as we can. But uh, that, that major cleaning that we do is at the beginning and the end of every season. We wanna make sure we sanitize those tanks out and make sure that we're putting that enzyme back in the tank. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into our plumbing systems on our coaches. Do you mind if you can give us some hands-on demonstrations to kind of assist in understanding all this stuff? Absolutely, let's head out to a coach. Awesome. To demonstrate some of the features of the wet bay and the different items that are involved in it, we're going to start with filling our fresh water tank. The first thing is you will have to get your hose. This hose is supplied with the coach. It is on a reel. We can pull this straight out and go directly to our park hookup. Once we get there, simply taking this cap off, hooking up to the park post, that will give us our water supply. Now to get water into the fresh tank, you're actually going to have to turn the valve here on the wall. This valve here needs to be in the vertical position unless you are filling the fresh water tank. So by just simply turning it horizontal, that allows us to fill the fresh water tank. Once we've got our tank filled up and we can monitor that with our um, screen over here, once that is full up to 100%, we would wanna turn our park water off or just simply turn this valve. If you're gonna be hooked up full time, you don't really need to fill your fresh tank, but if you are going to be traveling, you would wanna fill that fresh tank Make sure we always get this valve back in the vertical position when we are done filling the fresh tank. One of the other things we're gonna talk about in the wet bay is the sewer flush. You wanna use that sewer flush to be rinsing out your black tank. So we talked about it earlier in the session. The thing we wanna remember is you really want a dedicated water hose to be able to hook up to that sewer flush. So what that does is it actually pushes water through to the other side of the tank just to help push any solids out and helps clean that tank to get the inside cleaned out. Some of the other things that we have in here are actually behind this wall. So we're gonna go ahead and take this wall off and we'll be able to see what's in there, our valves and, and things that we will need to get to in order to winterize and properly use this wet bay. So with this panel removed, 
we can actually see that there are a variety of valves in here. We have valves for the tanks to dump the tanks out. We also have water valves over here for incoming water. We have two valves in the back corner here for low point drains. This front valve right here is to winterize. So that's important anytime you want to winterize your unit, you will want to be able to use that hose to pull that winterization fluid, that antifreeze through the water system. Um, the other things that we have in here, the different gate valves, we do have the pole handles up here on top, but those actually operate valves back here behind the panel. Now you really shouldn't have to get to much of this, but just in case you do, we wanna make sure you understand where they are. This gate valve here happens to be your three inch emergency dump valve. That would actually bypass our macerator system and dump directly underneath the coach. So it just has a little outlet down here that you would hook your hose up to and it comes out in the coach. In the back of this, towards the back of this macerator assembly, there's actually another gate valve that's all the way back here in the corner. It's just a small inch and a half. That is actually going to our macerator system. So that is already pre-assembled um, in the coach. The hose is already attached. You should never have to take that off. Simply pull out this macerator hose, hook it up to your park, and then once we, once we dump the tanks, you just open the according gate valves, whichever one you're trying to dump, the black or the gray, you just open those tanks up and turn the macerator on and it will actually empty that for you. So thank you PJ for our hands-on demonstration today and thank you Integra family for tuning in to our tanks and plumbing segment today on Integra Coaching. We'll see you guys next time.